now recently i covered a crazy crash out by izzy prime and when i covered this crash out i made a video basically detailing everything that izzy prime an associate of adam ross i basically detailed everything he did in the night which just roll the clips why are you so mad okay i'll call somebody go give me my phone <laughs> All black people give respect for me. Did you ask her to keep it? On my side, just let you know. Get the dog What's gonna do? What's gonna do? Come on side, come on side, come on. I'm not moved for no white people. I'm not moved for no white person. Don't do that in here, bro. Stop me if you want to. I'm gonna knock your out. He was basically. Why is he always starting shit? Damn. Like, nobody knows you, dude. Nobody knows who you are. Just give it up already. Nobody knows you. Everybody say Two Face, you know, fuck Prime. Say, say fuck Prime. Say Two Face said it. No, say nobody knows you if he I don't know how many viewers he get on the stream or if he even get any viewers tell Prime that nobody knows you and say Two-Face said it actually acting out crashing out threatening to knock out women and all the above now when I made this video quite a few of you guys sent me a clip of Prime actually pressing another person that I left out of the video and it's actually interesting because most of the men prime was pressing he could kind of tell that they weren't really gonna do anything but this ed matthews guy it's what bullies do he actually didn't seem like he was that scared of prime when prime was pressing him now before we even get into that i don't even know why neon invited ed matthews to a 30-day stream basically neon did a 30-day stream and he invited all the degenerates let's be real he invited all the degenerates to basically get degenerate content now i don't know why he would invite ed because when ed turned up neon's girl was actually looking at ed quite intensely oh god she fine she lucky fine yep she looking at another man. She ain't happy with Neon. She ain't happy with that man. We all know that she she fantasized of banging another dude. She probably already slept with another man. Real talk. To be real with you. She used to be thick last year. She used to be thick. But she was low-key kind of fat. I ain't gonna lie to you. She didn't look all that good. She, I don't know. It's just something about her I just don't like. She jealous. You can tell she's jealous. She's envious. She's just an OF thought. And that's all she is streaming along with neon just to take his money she knows she want an, a man that's that know how to take care of himself that know how to carry himself she want a man like that and look this blind this blind female she got him this blind female look good i ain't gonna let me wind his back let me wind his back skinny stick <laughs> ain't nobody want that look she's looking at her what well, i want to look at that yeah look at her she ain't banging him she don't she ain't feeling it oh no i want to she's fine Ain't a better one. Yeah, she looking at that. She looking at she ain't look at her. She just by herself. That nobody You see when a white girl pull her hair like that, she's bored. She's bored. Why does she look like a depressed emo girl now? Now she ain't she ain't got all that hype around her name. She really don't. If I'm sorry, she's literally uh Jack Dorothy's uh one of his little bitches, if you be honest. If you really think about it, just think about it real quick. Jack owns her. He owns the majority of her OF. And the reason I know that because um, that's what he does. And everybody knows he's a player. He's a pimp. Even though she's not with Jack, she's still with her. He's still making money off of her account. Not only that, the more famous, the more buzz any of these girls get, that's only going to make him more money. If you think about it, because she's linked to that man. She's linked to Jack. She's not deleting her old web. That's how that's how she make money. But most of that's going to him. So technically he's using ne like Neon's getting used. It's crazy. She's just a string along. I mean, Jack is really a player. If you think about it, he's a pimp. He a pimp. Yeah, Neon, he's gonna really learn the hard way, bro. This is not your girl. She's for the streets. 
Look at her sad. She skinny. was looking like she wanted to go to the back room and get it on with Ed right, you know, after they finished the content. So I don't really know why he invited Ed. <laughs> they might have a thing going on there. But Ed Matthews is somebody who is quite a wild card himself. He's out there. He basically clips for him a lot of the times. He'll go into public, do crazy things. Yeah, she was on to me. She was like, oh, and she looked at me like this. Hey, right, chat, do you know what? Did you hear me say that? Because if, if that gets clipped, I'm cooked in the morning by my girl. All right, that was a joke. He's a wild character. So, like I said, it's a stream for 30 days, and they're inviting the degenerates to get degenerate content, essentially, which, you know, does numbers nowadays. So, you can't really blame the business side of things. Now, the thing I found interesting when you guys sent me the clip of Prime pressing Ed is the fact that they were actually cool not too long ago. They were literally cool. And I think this goes to show the type of character that Prime has. Trying to avoid that copy, right? someone and then you get some alcohol down you and now you're incredible hulk you're luke cage all of a sudden you feel indestructible you can take bullets and you know you you can get over and everybody and then you start pressing the people you were cool with it doesn't make sense to me how you can be cool with someone and then press them when you get alcohol down you like that's lame like people like that are very dangerous and you don't really want to associate with people like that but yeah they were actually cool at one point and chilling now when Prime was pressing Ed, I don't know what he was thinking because majority of the night we could tell he wasn't really thinking. And when he was thinking, he was thinking that the person he was pressing was a bitch. Now, I don't really know what he thought about Ed because Ed, have whatever opinion you want of him. Even though there's some clips to where people can say, oh, he's a bitch because, you know, there was this time he got pressed by a bunch of people. So people might say that he's a bitch, but that same clip where he got pressed by that guy who was slapping him. He actually ended up fighting that guy when he ended up linking up with him another time. And they actually ended up linking up in a boxing ring. Uh, so I got pressured in money by this weapon here, bruv. I was steaming, bear that in mind. Who wanna go to fight me, bro? Why do you look like Luke? Luke? No, no, not Luke. Why does he look like Leon from Resident Evil? Look at him. Your he look just like Leon. Why are you swinging? Why are you Your butt, you ain't part, bro. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yours a muppet, bro. What? What? Is, what? Is that how you moving, yeah? And Matthew's taking a slap in that, yeah. Okay, and Matthew's, and yeah. Matthew's <laughs> taking a slap, bro. You'll pull it. When I'll stab you, what, bro? What? Fuck me, bro. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, oh, this guy's getting maimed. How is he pressuring me five in the morning when I can barely walk with a few men and a weapon and getting banged out like this? Jesus, bro. Look at him. Oh, no. Do you know what, as well? I don't even give clout chasers a time of day, but the state of this guy, I just had to pattern him. Looking like a cockroach. <laughs> for real, respect for turning up. Didn't think he would, I can't lie. Be there, knife down, gloves up. Come on, boys. Bitch him, you know, he's going to eventually do something, even though he may not have done it in the moment at the time he was pressed. But he's just not like going for what a lot of people he was pressing that night, Prime. A lot of people he was pressing, they weren't really doing anything. So Ed, I think, is a bit different. I don't think you're just going to completely just have your way with him and he's not going to do anything. Well, I don't really watch him like that. So you guys can really confirm if that's true or not. I don't know if it's... Let me know. Is Ed bitch made? Because from what I saw, yeah, he got slapped in public. But he ended up fighting the guy who got slapped. Now, I don't think Prime had all this in mind when he was pressing him. I don't know if he knows Ed's history. But he did end up pressing him. I don't give a fuck about that fat ass nigga trying to choke me out. Fuck that fat ass nigga, bruh. I will beat the dogs out that fat ass nigga, and I will pop him. Sort of just dead, bruh. On my dead, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. On my dead homies, you gonna read a real nigga?
I don't care. Bro, why are you squaring up to me, though? I'm not squaring up to you. You want to think I'm squaring up to you? No, no, it ain't going to be no fair fight. Why are you shining in my face, though? Gang, what you going to punch me? You going to punch me? No, why are you shining in my face? Because you punch me, it's going to be over. All my dead homies, I'm going to knock some niggas out. I'm going to show niggas I ain't scared of no nigga in this crib. I'm going to beat the dogs out of niggas. Now, when he ended up... You remind me that dude off of, uh... What's... Nah, it's somebody off of Boondocks that he remind me of. He sound just like him. I forgot. It ain't slipped back, but it's somebody. It's somebody, man. But it's, he's funny, though. He should be a comedian low-key. Oppressing him. Essentially, nothing really happened. Prime got in his face, and it kind of looked like stuff might escalate, but it was really in Ed's hands. You know, he seemed like he was kind of not scared of Prime, but he just was in control of himself something i feel like i feel like prime loki is a troll but the dude is a troll he's trying to get a reaction out of you he's trying to do things that's obviously gonna piss off people on purpose he's trying to get you to react first but loki a troll can get the better hand if they know how to get inside your head if you're very good at being a troll if you know how to get inside people's heads bro when you know how to make people tick bro it's all in your hands because they're gonna be reacting out of their emotions and you're gonna be low-key cool calm and collected kind of like muhammad ali he, he talked a lot of trash but really he's actually focused he's just doing that just to get you out balance you got some people that trash talk just to get inside your head but they're not actually mad about prime actually i'm like that in call of duty i ain't gonna lie i'm really like that it's a practice but ed ended up responding to the situation and apparently there could be threats of basically suing prime for the way he was acting at night so this might not be a case where Prime has just completely got away with everything he was doing that night. He might be getting sued by Ed. Prime needs to chill. Nah, he's gonna get himself arrested, and he's because he's already got cases. He's gonna get locked up. Nah, oh, he got cases. I would genuinely rate him before he tried to fight him. But Ed didn't really. He didn't really have anything positive to say about Prime after the altercation. Now. I do believe that Prime was just talking and I do believe even in those white people he was bumping into, I do believe like if one of those guys got in his face he wasn't going to do anything because from this situation where he was pressing Ed, it basically seemed to me like okay this guy just wants to talk. You know because you've got a man right there in your face, I mean your shoulder, your shoulder bumping females but then you've got a man right there in your face, go, punch him in his shit, punch him in his shit, crash out for our entertainment, push him in it, pu punch him in his shit but you didn't do nothing you was just talking so i just think he was under the influence of not blaming the alcohol but i think he was under the influence of alcohol and he just wanted to talk i think he wanted to talk i don't think he was under the influence of alcohol he was definitely under the influence of alcohol but i think he just wanted to talk under the influence of alcohol he didn't really want to take it there but guys let me know what you think about this whole situation what do you th i mean he might get beat up for real he might get beat up he may he may get dropped he may just really get his ass whooped that's it for this reaction video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.